Hello, if you're traveling to Jamaica, you might be wondering what would be the best things to bring home from Jamaica. And if you want to bring something special and authentic from your trip, the chances are you might not be able to do so. You see, there is a big problem with Jamaican souvenirs, but hardly anyone talks about it or knows about it. Let me explain. There are many souvenir shops in Jamaica, and if you go to any one of them, you will see a lot of colorful towels, t-shirts, dresses and hats, which you would buy as a wonderful gift for yourself, your family and friends. It is also common to buy such things as fridge magnets, cups or just something silly, like this. And it would have been wonderful if at least some of these items were made in Jamaica. But they're not. Most of them are imported either from China or from India. You can search for authentic Jamaican souvenirs and gifts by just looking for a tag that shows where the product is made. You will see that most tags say made in China or elsewhere. Like made in Guatemala? Really? Sometimes you will see something fancy like this and assume that it should definitely be made in Jamaica. But it isn't. This Bob Marley footwear is actually made in Jacksonville in the United States. It's an American company. Listen, I personally guilty of this myself. I used to have this collection of Chinese magnets on my fridge door. And there are no problems with items made in China. You see, my computer is made in China. My microphone is made in China. It's okay. But when it comes to souvenirs, the only time I want a Chinese souvenir is when I'm buying it in China. I mean, doesn't it make more sense to buy souvenirs in Jamaica that are made by Jamaicans in Jamaica? So here comes the list of things that you should consider if you want something truly authentic. And we're going to start with Jamaican craft market. A craft market is an area where locals sell their crafts. You can find Chinese towels and t-shirts again, but mostly there are items made of wood, bamboo and other materials. Wood carvings in Jamaica are some of the most exquisite and creative. Quality wood carvings are typically handmade out of heavy wood and represent Jamaican culture, like Rastafari symbols, influential people and animals of the island. They come in different sizes and can last for a long time as a souvenir. If you want something small, you can choose art in form of jewelry, ashtray, calabash wooden bowls or maybe a little oil painting. But of course, local crafts is just one option. There are a lot of other things made in Jamaica that can be a fantastic souvenir. For example, Jamaican coffee that is made in Blue Mountains. It's one of the best in the world. You will find that supermarkets have a wide range of brands and all of them include authentic Blue Mountain coffee. Slightly cheaper option of Jamaican coffee would be High Mountain coffee that can also be found in any supermarket. The other thing that Jamaica is famous for, of course, rum, which comes in different types and flavors. Rain Nephew is the company that produces famous Appleton rum. Alternatively, you can go for 63% overproof white rum. It's the most popular rum among the locals, but not many of them pay attention to the history of this rum. Guess what? This was exactly the rum that pirates of the Caribbean used to drink back in the day. And I mean, the real pirates. It was produced by exactly the same company, and the recipe hasn't changed since then. He spent three days lying on a beach drinking rum. Welcome to the Caribbean, lad. You can find Jamaican rum in any supermarket and it comes in different sizes. Or you can do a rum tour and visit Appleton Rum Estate to see how rum is made and buy your souvenirs there. See the link in description if you want to do this tour. While you are at the supermarket, you might also want to find a small gift for your female friends. One of the budget-friendly options would be cocoa butter cream and it is sold in most shops in Jamaica and is rather good quality. If you want something more fancy, handmade and even higher quality, Jamaica has a lot of options because this country is very good at making cosmetics from natural materials. Just go to a local pharmacy and you will find a range of brands there. 
When I travel to other countries, I always bring cream lotion and soap bars. All of them pretty cool handmade gifts, which to me are really the best things to bring home from Jamaica that all women would love and men would appreciate too. Talking about handmade goods, one of the cutest gifts you can find in Jamaica are handmade Jamaican stuffed dolls. The dolls can be soft or plastic and typically are dressed in Jamaican branded clothing or the bandana clothing, which is a symbol of Jamaican heritage. But again, please keep an eye on the tag because some of these dolls would be imported from China. Another beautiful and useful authentic Jamaican gift can certainly be candles. Jamaican candles are made with essential oils and scented bee wax collected from rural bee farmers in Jamaica. They come in different colors and forms, and my favorite is probably Blue Mountain Coffee Candle. And of course you can pick up essential oils themselves, which would usually be found next to candles. Now let's look at more things uh, to bring home from Jamaica, which come in form of food souvenirs. For example, Jamaican snacks would be a quite good option since not many people outside of the Caribbean tried such things as banana chips, plantain chips or cassava chips. These are made by a Jamaican company and are cheap, tasty, light to pack, and you can find them almost everywhere in Jamaica. What about a famous Caribbean rum cake? The most popular brand is Tortuga, originally started in Cayman Islands by a Jamaican. Most Tortuga cakes sold in Jamaica are baked locally, but in general, it's a big international company. Alternatively, you can go for Buccaneers rum cake, which is slightly cheaper and also made in Jamaica. In general, you can find various Jamaican sweets and treats, but there used to be a problem with packaging, which didn't make them look particularly nice as souvenirs. But now there are these options, like with boxes and you know other packaging, which looks pretty sweet, if you know what I mean. And of course, we should mention Jamaican chocolate. There are a couple of brands, and one of them is produced by Cafe Blue. It's not just tasty, it also looks nice. My favorite is Mount Pleasant chocolate, which has these different flavors. I love the one with sea salt, and you have to try it before you judge it. The last but not least, Jamaican spices and seasoning. These are a fantastic present for anyone who likes cooking, or just pick a few for your own home collection and enjoy Jamaican cuisine back home. Jamaican money itself can be a souvenir. Currency in Jamaica is called Jamaican dollar. Each banknote has an image of a Jamaican hero or a leader. And coins, of course, can be a much better thing to collect instead of these, you know, fridge magnets. So, these are just a few ideas of authentic Jamaican souvenirs and gifts you can bring back home from Jamaica. You might also be wondering where exactly you should go shopping for them, and that's why I'm giving you five options. You can buy wooden carvings and crafted items along the road directly from the locals. The other option is, of course, the town craft market, like I mentioned earlier. Number three, just go to a supermarket where you will find coffee, rum and all the foods. Number four, go shopping to a local pharmacy. Actually, a pharmacy in Jamaica is a shop with a lot of different goods, not just the pharmaceuticals like you would expect. And number five, a souvenir shop. They are way too focused on tourists and generally have higher prices, but if you don't have much time to shop around or coming with a cruise ship, for instance, these souvenir shops can be a very good choice for you. I'd like to finish off by saying that this video hasn't been sponsored by any of the brands. I just randomly selected the ones that I know about and that I personally use. And I hope this would be helpful to someone who's traveling to Jamaica. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Irina and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.